What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to do something a little special today. This is some, I don't know how this is going to play out. This is going to be like a boxing mystery box. Did I get taken for $18? I guess you'll stick around and find out. Alright everybody, uh, I'm back and today I ordered something off of Amazon, it was $18 and to tell you the truth, I don't know if I got ripped off or not, uh, this is something that I thought was pretty cool when I first saw it and uh, I, I just kind of had to have it, like, so I'll, I'll get to this unboxing and y'all see what I'm talking about. Mm, some of y'all are going to be like, oh yeah, that's been around forever or whatever, I have just saw it, it was 18 bucks cut me some slack we'll see if it I got you know taken for my money or whatever but uh all right, let's get this going and like I said this is something that I do not have high expectations for at all it was $18 <laughs> and so yeah, how good could it actually be right for 18 bucks which yeah we'll see hopefully I don't you know cut my arm off here Wow, they... Surprisingly, it looks like it's fairly good quality. This is kind of... Anyway. I found this retro phone case that mimics a Game Boy, and it's supposed to have 36 games on it. Um, obviously, it's from China, because, you know, all the Chinese writing on top. It says 36 classic games and uh, the case actually looks like it's pretty legit actually like that it doesn't it feels like it's got some weight to it but uh, it's funny because some of the games that they're emulating are you know um, uh, Super Mario Contra uh, just regular Mario and uh, but one of them that I was reading in the description on this particular phone case was Nuts Milk. I'm like, I, I don't think I want to play that game. <laughs> Nuts Milk? What? That's not a game I ever played growing up. But uh, let's open this up and see how legit or unlegit this actually is. So it says, Classic Nostalgic Game Cell Phone. Yeah, not even, none of this is spelled right. So the, I'm betting the emulation is going to be terrible. Terrible, terrible. But uh, you know, the case itself. It's supposed to have four hours of playtime. I don't know if it's charged already or not, but um, what do y'all think? I mean, I can't even take my phone because I'm using the phone to record this video right now, so I can't even put my phone in it to see if it how well it fits. But all the holes are at the bottom for the charging and the speakers, and um, it looks like everything, all the placement on the actual case is legit, is right, and uh, made in China. Let's uh, see if the, we can get this thing to power up. All right, so we have English and it's, I'm not, I'm, I'm guessing that's Chinese, but we're gonna go English. Okay, so I might have to get up a, a close up of this here in a minute, but we have a Super Contra, Super Mario Brothers, that's supposed to be Tetris. Um, I think that's supposed to be Bomberman. Balloon Fight. Obviously Donkey Kong. It says Donkey Kong. They got that one right. Um, Excite Bike. 
Hell yeah. Galaga. Spartan X. I don't know what that one is. Mmm, five chests. Now some of these are going to be, ooh, another screen menu. We got Pinball, Circus, Ice Climber, I have no idea, Pac-Man, uh, Mario Bros, Tennis, F1 Race, Battle Cry, Punya, <laughs> Soccer, Load Runner. None of this is spelled right, by the way. There's, there's Nuts Milk. I'm not joking. It says Nuts Milk. I don't know what that translates to, but uh, yeah, I'm good. Chinese chest, um, road fighter, Olympic, 1942, <laughs> um, urban champion, which looks like a street fighter, sky destroyer, uh, star force, which I have no idea, bomb jack. Some of these are just straight like garbage, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera around so y'all can actually see what I'm seeing and see if this is emulated worth a damn. So give me just a second. It's so far it's working exactly like it should, and the buttons don't even feel that cheap. So uh, I mean, for eighteen dollars, like how could I be that mad at this? So. Okay, let me bring the camera around. Okay, guys, so uh, now y'all can see what I'm seeing. Um, on off. Hopefully y'all can see that pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can get the camera to focus. There we go. So like I said, this was an $18 phone case, so... Let's uh let's try Contra. Ooh, it's got Super Contra one, two, and three. Nice. Let's go. Let's see. Reset. Start pause. Okay, so there's a start pause. Ha uh, I'm just curious how you're gonna play two player on this, but whatever. I'm not even going to lie, I'm pretty impressed already, because it looks pretty decent. The color and the uh, emulation look pretty, I mean, it actually plays, wow, I'm shocked. The, obviously it's, this is pretty crazy how well this plays for a freaking $18 phone case that I was not ex even expecting to work. I mean, it sounds exactly like it. The buttons work, the directional, the... I'm going to go out there, and just on this game... But, oh. So, just based on that right there, the fact that it powers on and that game actually played so well, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It gets the thumbs up because that's that's pretty... Uh, the buttons might be reversed, but um, the AB might be reversed, but overall... It actually plays. I mean, I'm kind of watching this through the camera, so. And, you know, they didn't send me this, so I'm not going to put the link in the description for this exact case. Because, uh, daddy don't work for free. But, uh, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, to be completely honest I didn't think this was going to be playable at all and uh, the fact that it is is pretty shocking 
game over. All right, let's go. Uh, we'll go reset. Okay, so that was Contra. Let's go see. Hmm. Sure, why not? Let's play some Super Mario Bros. One or two player, uh, of course. Let's see if the music's right. How could you be mad at this for 18 bucks? Like, I seriously don't even understand how they make this for 18 bucks. It, it. <laughs> My camera's not really doing it justice. The color looks better in, uh, actually on the case than it does my camera recording it. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, well, obviously it's emulated somewhat again for 18 bucks I gotta say this is a win guys this is uh I mean they're obviously ripping Nintendo off on this but I mean, the sound quality on the little speakers is not even that bad. It's got a screen protector on it. That's why it's looking like I can peel that off if I want to. <laughs> this is hilarious. The buttons are... Uh, the AB is reversed, but you'll get over that. For Like, how much do you expect for 18 bucks? I can't even believe that this is playable. Like, I'm. This is so irresponsible of me to buy this because I'm going to be playing this all the time now. Like, for real. It's got about the same size screen as an actual Game Boy would have on it, too. It feels pretty good in your hands. I mean, I'm sure it'll feel even better after the uh, phone goes in. Uh, I died. Okay. I did that on purpose. Let's go to another game. Let's see. Uh,. Let's try some Donkey Kong. <laughs> there we go. Climb, you fool. Uh oh. Oh. Well, it seems to be playing all right. I mean, I'm just gonna cycle through some more games. What's uh? I'm kind of curious. What the hell is Spartan X? Let's let's try Spartan X. Oh, Kung Fu. I, I, y'all know this game. I'd have, I'm guessing this is like karate fighters, karate or something. Ooh, there's kick, bam, bam. It's amazing how well this actually plays for being an, uh, okay. <laughs> it, for 18 bucks, this is a must. This really is. <laughs> Guys, this is great. <laughs> let's reset. Let's go play another game. Uh, let's see how well they uh, emulated Tetris. Pating. I have not charged this at all either, guys. This is straight out of the. Uh... It's funny because they straight ripped it out of this, dude. Hold on. Reset. So. You can see what it says right there. And, it's, and then uh, it's even got like the licensing and everything from the actual Tetris. It says like 19... What does it say? 1987? <laughs> 1988. Man, uh, I'm guessing that they didn't uh, buy the rights to this. But I'm just going to go out on a limb and... Sure. Ooh, good music. 
Okay, you can you can turn the volume up or down with the sound button right there. Ooh, that was fast. Oosh, okay. So it is playable. Not really like what I remember, but whatever. Still playable. If you're bored in the, at an airport and you're waiting on a flight or something, like this is going to be a lifesaver. Okay, enough of this one. Let's go try another one. Uh, oh, we already played Donkey Kong. My bad. Strike Sight Bike. Yeah. All the music in this, by the way, is pretty legit. It sounds exactly like what you would remember. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. For 18 bucks, this is worth every penny. No, 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 no. Let's try out some Galaga. Everything sounds phenomenal. All right, let's let's do this stage one. I'm ready. This one's playable, but you can't press the button fast enough to. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, you're not going to get all the fighters when they spiral through like you would on the actual arcade. But still very much playable. Stage two. So, you know, let's see here. What else? What else do we got? Pac-Man. Everybody knows Pac-Man. Ugh. So all these games, guys, are very playable. Um, the hell is Load Runner? There's Mario Brothers. Let's try, try some regular Mario out. You know, and I'm not uh, concerned with all these. Let's try F1 ways. You know, I'm not concerned with all these uh, different uh, games being perfect, like I said. Just if they're close enough to. See, and this looks pretty close. It freaking looks good, too. I mean, it looks. It's not looking, it looks washed out on the camera, but the colors are actually like spot on. This is F1 race. Er, yep, that plays right. T 
tennis. No one cares about tennis. Or soccer. What was the other good one? Road Fighter. 1942. Now this one plays better than Galaga. For some reason, it's I guess it's emulated faster. Oh yeah. Oh. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Um, I, I have to before we go. I don't, I don't know what Star Force is. I guess it's another top-down shooter, and this one actually shoots pretty fast too. This one's probably the fastest one of them all. Ooh, and they have to be with the as fast as they're coming at you on this game. Y'all can't really get the definition of like how good the games actually look um, on the camera. We're gonna leave. Where is it at? We're going to play Nuts Milk as the last game, and then uh, we'll go back into Nuts Milk. I have no idea. Don't even. It's poorly translated. Uh, is this? I have no idea. Anyway, pretty solid, pretty solid. I forgot I had a uh, spare iPhone. I forgot I had a spare iPhone. Um, so while my iPhone that I carry every day is recording this, um, this is the iPhone that's in the case and. It, it fits perfectly. Um, it's actually got this kind of rubber. This is not hard plastic. So if you were to drop it, it would actually protect the edges. Probably not the screen so much. You'd probably have to have a screen protector on it. But uh, all in all, for $18, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. I mean, and it's, it's a cheap gimmick, but at the same time, it's very playable. And um, everybody griped on how cheap the buttons felt in the review but I gotta say they don't feel that cheap to me like it feels pretty good in your hand I have to I had to have to admit like what do you think guys is this worth 18 bucks leave uh leave your uh yay or nay in the comments below but uh I I, I still gotta say I'm I'm pretty uh I'm pretty impressed for uh, an $18 phone case. You can't, I couldn't even find, you can go to Walmart, you can't even find like a just a plastic phone case for 18 bucks for an iPhone. And this one's playing Contra, so 18 bucks was worth it, I guess, for me. Um, I like it. I give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can find these on Amazon. Just look up Game Boy Phone Case, and uh, they'll have whatever your uh, phone. They make them for Androids and everything else. And that's the only thing about this is I'm, I have to use a lightning charger for my phone, and this takes a uh, Android charger, which is really no big deal because a lot of my headsets that I use are all um, Android chargers. So pretty awesome. Pretty awesome at the end of the day for 18 bucks. I'm not griping one bit. I'm happy with my purchase. Go get you one. Later, guys. Peace.